Hello and welcome to my introduction to pivot tables. One of the most frequently asked questions that I'm asked when I'm working with Excel and particularly with my advanced Excel classes are what are pivot tables and how are they used and what are they used for? Well very simply pivot tables are used in Excel for data summarization. They're terrific for this and among other functions pivot tables tools they can automatically sort and count they can total, give average of data stored in a spreadsheet. Um, and basically what it does, by just dragging um, and categorizing columns of, and fields of information together, it can summarize data in a terrifically simplified manner. So basically here on this particular spreadsheet that I have, that I'm going to work with, as you can see, I have got the columns, I've got a lot of staff, and they work in various departments and in various locations and of course this is the salary but what I would like Excel to do I would like Excel to grab all the department all those who work in the transport department in a particular location and then total the overall salary for all of those staff and I wanted to do that for every single department in all the locations so a pivot table is going to do this for me very very quickly and without any knowledge of formulas whatsoever so to do this, I'm first of all going to click in cell A1 just so that I have my data selected. So the next step then is to click on the insert command up here, up at the little insert tab, up in the ribbon. And from there, we just click on pivot table command, first one here on the, pivot, on the tables group. And again, Excel selects the correct cell range for me, so I'm going to say OK to that. And instantly I'm presented now with what they call the pivot table field list. And this little box, this is basically where we're going to actually build our pivot table from. Here we have the field headings up here that you saw just a few minutes ago. And down below we have the various areas where we can drag these fields to. And this is how the pivot table is going to be built and presented depending on where you drop these fields into. So the first step that I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the department field down to the row labels. You keep an eye on the left hand side. First of all, just watch where I drop it. I'm going to drop it down here into the row labels box. And as I do, watch the left hand side of my spreadsheet. Can you see how Excel now just drops it over on the left hand side? So it's really beginning to build the pivot table at this point. And again, I'm going to drag the location. So place my mouse pointer now on the location field. Hold my mouse button down as I drag it and then drop it and just release your mouse button into the row labels box. And again, have a look at the left hand side. Excel is really now beginning to build up this little pivot table for me. And what is it I'd like to do with this data? Well, I would like to kind of get the salaries all totaled. So here I'm going back up again for the salary field. And I'm going to place my mouse pointer on and drag it. And this time, look, I'm going to where, where I'm dragging and dropping it. I'm dropping it into the values box down here at the bottom right. And release my mouse button. And look now what Excel has done. It has presented me with a lovely pivot table with all the data summarised, showing me that all of those who work in the administration departments in Dublin, here's the total. All of those who work in administration in Drogheda, here's the total, and in Galway, and so on. Now, when you work with pivot tables, nothing is cast in stone, so you can actually drag in information from columns to fields and so on, and, and you can drag the fields right back out again. So let me show you what happens if I drag and I, I changed my mind of, or I want to alter how my data looks. So at this point, I'm going to place my mouse pointer down on the row labels box down here where I have got department. I'm going to place my mouse pointer and I'm just going to drag it and drop it up onto the columns labeled box. And look at the lovely job that Excel does now of presenting the data. So this is a very elementary and a very basic pivot table. But keep an eye out for my other ones because I'm going to get into really I'm going to get my teeth into a lot of the lovely functions that the pivot tables offer. And on the next one, I'm going to show you very quickly how you can produce a pivot chart from pivot table information. So thank you for watching and keep an eye out for the step by step by Miriam videos.